Hey y'all, it's Lissa aka Bangs and Glasses and I'm back with a uh, layout share for you all from October. Um, so in October, 30 Days of Sketches was going on and it was a double page series this year. Um, so that actually allowed me to get a lot of layouts done. Um, so I did all of them as double pages and I count double pages as two layouts so in the month of october i actually got 42 layouts done which is awesome um, that's actually the most layouts i've gotten done in a month ever i believe so uh, that feels really good and i accomplished all my other goals of using mixed media washi and sequins um so what i have to share with you all today are the layouts that i made that aren't part of 30 days of sketches because i am doing separate videos for just the 30 days of sketches layouts um so you can see the ones i've already made so far on my channel down below um, if you're new here, I'd love for you to stick around. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave me a comment down below. Uh, but let's get into the layouts. So um, I did want to focus on doing some Halloween layouts this month since it was October. Uh, so this first layout is just titled So Wicked. And it's using Recollections Halloween-y, uh, which is a paper pad from a couple years ago. There's also some simple stories, uh, simple vintage um, October 31st in here. So that's some of these little, uh, circle -y bits and ephemera pieces. Um, these are some handmade rosettes that I ordered off of Etsy. Uh, there's also some ribbon in here. And this is using a sketch from Scrap a Sketch Challenge number three, take five. And I believe the layout, it was something like this. And there was like a panel here. So I just kind of flipped it. And, um, you know, this is already printed on the background paper, so I really wanted to uh, just let that be a lot of the embellishment here. And uh, this photo is just a photo of us watching um, Dracula um, during Halloween in 2021. And I'm wearing little vampire socks, so that's all that's in that photo. I did want to bring out some bat pieces since it was about vampires. And I just thought that was fun um, to embellish it that way. So this next layout is another Halloween layout here and I did use up these pieces from Inner Creativity and this is just a selfie of me from Halloween 2021. That year I dressed up as a kind of celestial princess kind of thing. Um, so this is also using the Halloween -y paper pad from Michael's. So that's this whole background uh, piece as well as this paper here. There's also some um, American Crafts and Bootable Nights in here. So that's what a lot of these pieces are in this paper. And then, um, yeah, these are from Inner Creativity here. So I use this acrylic piece. It says Wicked and Cute. And then these uh, little wood veneers here. And this one I didn't use the sketch. I just kind of played around with the scraps I had and really uh, wanted to play off this background paper. So just kind of doing something that worked with the background. Next, another Halloween layout, and this was my first time playing around with the Paige Evans Tricks and Treats collection. Um, I do want to play with it maybe a little bit more before uh, the end of the year, uh, but I just made this layout to start. And this was titled Spooktacular Decorations, and this photo was just some pastelloween decorations I had up in my craft room. I've since gotten rid of these things, but I did have that decorated at the time. And um, so most of this is that Tricks and Treats collection. This paper right here is from DCWV Halloween Party, which is a paper pad from a couple of years ago. And this is using a sketch by The Scrap Room. Next, this layout is um, just titled Pretty Scary. And it's using Simple Stories Happy Hauntings, which is this paper, um, these papers right here and um dcwv halloween party for this paper uh there's some michael stickers in here a lot of these like snake kind of pieces from a couple years ago and this is using scrap a sketch number 126 and this is just documenting me watching the rocky horror picture show and i had a selfie of myself as well and this was back in 2021 so yeah trying to get through uh, a lot of the photos i still have from 2021 here and I just really love how this came out. I love all the pink and orange mixed together. And um, yeah, I just thought this was a fun layout. Next, this is a double page layout. And I decided to redo one of the 30 days 
of sketches layouts because it was the only layout that I only did one side of and I decided you know I felt like that was kind of cheating and I wanted to actually do it as a double page layout so I used it uh, for this layout to inspire me. Uh, so this is just a titled Awaiting Our Little Pumpkin and this was back in 2022 uh, in October when we went to the pumpkin patch and I had my little baby bump so that's what I'm showing off here. So these are just photos of me and my husband at the pumpkin patch that day. And um, I just did some simple embellishments here. This is using um, uh, Simple Stories Cozy Days for the paper and a lot of the embellishments here. And then this embellishment someone made and sent to me in some happy mail. So I decided to use that here as well. And yeah, I just got to journal about that here. Uh, this was so fun, you know, just being pregnant and getting that those cute photos together. Next, this layout is titled Boxes for Baby, and this is a May I Scrap Lift You that I saw Pineapple Papers do, and she was scrap lifting Stephanie. This is using Pink Paisley Whimsical and some Hobby Lobby paper in here, and then kind of some random Amy Tan um, embellishments that have been in my stash forever, and this is using some Mixed Media Tim Holtz little ink. And the technique that she used was she just like stamped the ink pad to make squares, um, as some of her embellishments here. So that's what I did. And this is just documenting us starting to get um, items in the mail for baby back in 2022. Um, we were starting to get, you know, our big purchases in like his uh, car seat and stroller. This might have been like a bouncer for him. I can't remember um, right now, but yeah. So I thought that was fun to just document that using some like mail themed items that I randomly had in my stash. And uh, it feels good to start getting some of these layouts done that are about my pregnancy experience with Alex. And then this is my last layout here. I did finish up uh, one little sheet of stickers that I had. Um, this is just titled um, Do, Do Not Worry, Drink Coffee. And this was documenting an outing we had at uh, this uh, kind of dessert shop called Sugar Llamas. And they have donuts, ice cream, coffee all sorts of treats so we had a little date there and uh this was using damas love wild card and so all of these little embellishments are just random stuff from my stash all the little donuts and ice cream uh embellishments here and i did decide to use some sequins on here just as um kind of like enamel dots here which i don't normally do so that was nice to try something different there and uh, this was using a sketch from Scrap a Sketch number 134. And those are all the layouts I did in October that were not for 30 days of sketches. So thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, comment down below and let me know which layout was your favorite. And I'll see you all again in November. Bye.